bothered me anyway. Curse. <laughs> We've been putting far too many hours on this. We can't even get the machine working. Oh, Pull both threads to the back machine and then you're done. That's it. <gasps> God. After three hours. Over that. <laughs> ow, ow, that okay, hurt. Okay, that was. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? I'm okay, I live. It's the just a, it's a flesh wound. Me. Your hands are all shaky. The please moment of work, truth. Please work, please work. Why does our bottom stitch look like crap? Don't ask them, <laughs> ask the internet. I'm not No! Oh no, this thing's been stupid. What did this used to go to? Oh, I don't know what's wrong with this. Now it's like walking. Why? Horrid, but crap. <laughs> it's a lot past few hours. With this demon machine here. So yesterday we started making the dress. As you could see, we had a lot of trouble with the sewing machine. We could not, for the life of us, get the sewing machine to work. This is the corset, and it's the only piece that we actually got done, and it required no sewing at all. <laughs> this is actually made of duct tape. I had made a duct tape corset using an old shirt, and then we just cut fabric and then taped it. It is so pretty, isn't it? I want Production has been moving very slowly. I decide to see what I could do on my own with the beginning part. See how that turns out. <laughs> I don't know because I'll be filming and on screen and that doesn't work so well. Oh well, let's give it a shot. Not doing that again. I'm not setting another foot outside in this weather. It is too cold. It's warmer in Alaska, for goodness sake. <sighs> so, after about a month of persnickety machines, missing bobbins, tears, and a completely incompetent seamstress. I'm not going to Meaning myself. We have finally finished the dress. I think we need to get out. All right, we just need to fix your hair. I think we need to get out and get filming. Hopefully, I did well enough that some of my glaring mistakes are seen on the, the camera. Um, but I have the rest of the dress pieces here. You've already seen the corset, but I have the rest of them. This is the shirt. We decided to go with um, uh, opaque fabric, which I really like because warmer material. Warmer material is a big part of it because it is freezing outside still. It is March, but um, the fabric is also very pretty. I really like the way that it looked, 
and it just lies really well. I really like the skirt. The skirt is made out of the same kind of fabric as the corset, except this is just, just a few shades darker. Um, the top was made from, instead of a band or buttons or anything, I decided to do use um, an elastic fabric, which really worked out well. It's comfortable and it also holds up through whatever we need it to. The last piece is always the most fun at the cape, which was easy enough to make. I just cut the fabric and that was done. I really wanted something that would show up, so I went with a dark blue color and it really looks really nice when the wind catches it. So hopefully that will do absolutely great. Um, it was 7 degrees last time Hans went out, and it's a little bit warmer than that. It's 13, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you won't freeze to death. Because that's the last thing we need is our Elsa freezing to death. <laughs> that's irony for you. Um, we... The cold does bother me. <laughs> So we are going, just a couple of minutes, we are going to go out and we are going to film. Have this finally all done and all set and... Oh my, you are stuck. You are stuck, stuck. <laughs> Would you like some help? Yes, please. Don't fall, please. <laughs> the car sees something else going down the hill. Go. Stop. Go. And continue. If we're ready, go. And that's a wrap. There runs Elsa, back to the warmth of her house. Guess the cold does bother her anyway.